I'm Janice Davidson, Vice President of Creative and Brand for Regent Seven Seas Cruises. I'm here today with Johando Ruiz, founding partner of Studio Dado, to talk about the fabulous design of Prime Seven aboard our newest ship, Seven Seas Grandeur. Johando, first of all, congratulations on a truly beautiful restaurant. I can see from these renderings that there's really that strong theme of history and heritage throughout. Can you tell me a little bit more about what inspired you and your team on this restaurant? Sure, so Janice, our inspiration really came from paying homage to the birth of the steakhouse. So when we were thinking about the design, we were really thinking about where did the steakhouse originate? So in our research, we found that it really originated in New York. And it originated in the beefsteak banquet and chop houses that were around this time period. And then we delved a little further and we said, okay, what is it about these steakhouses that made them feel so special? So we tried to get into the minds of the, you know, the gentlemen of that time. What were they wearing? How did they travel? What was their daily life like when they frequented a lot of these establishments, which were at the time really solely for, for men? So that's where really our inspiration started. So we started seeing this little travel theme weaving through the story, and we felt that was really important to capture because we do want to speak to the heritage of the steakhouse like the heritage of Regent. So for Regent Grandeur, we feel it's important to kind of give the guests a little nod to history and take them to a different place that they haven't been to before. As you know, Prime 7 is a restaurant that is featured on all region ships. How does this design elevate the experience on board Seven Seas Grandeur specifically? So for us, it was really important to capture a unique experience. We know how important the restaurant venues are on board the region brand. So we wanted to capitalize on that and really create an experience that was fluid. So it took guests from even the point of arrival at the restaurant. So as you arrive to the restaurant, you'll be just highlighting this beautiful feature wall that has all these vintage cases that are handmade. And then as the guests travel through the entrance, you come across the main bar. So we really want guests to kind of come in and sit a while, create a space that feels convivial, that feels familiar. And the space will be adorned with beautiful details. We have a feature wall that has gentlemen belts, and these belts are gonna be put end on end, creating a very beautiful texture. So there's little elements like that that give you a nod to this time of turn of the century New York. And then even sitting at the bar, there's a beautiful lenticular screen that takes you from turn of the century to modern day New York. So I think the guests will really feel like they've been transported and that's all before you even sit down for dinner. There's also other things that we've done. We think it's really, really important to be able to have guests feel like they have the best seat in the house. So how do we capture that? We've created certain areas in the design where we have walls that have been outfitted with mirror. This way, everyone can see the reflection of the ocean and everyone feels like they have that window seat to the outside world. There's also other elements, like how do we hide service stations and things like that. So what we've done is we've designed these beautiful vitrines that have been outfitted with the most exquisite memorabilia of the time. And that allows that experience to be seamless. You don't even understand where these service stations are. It's really gonna elevate the experience overall. It sounds perfect. Thank you. It's very evident to me that you've selected and used materials in a very deliberate way to bring this space to life. What's that thought process behind some of the materials that you did choose? So for us, it was important that the space exuded luxury. So in picking materials, we wanted to make sure that those materials reflected that sense of luxury. But there was also something that was very important to us, which is this notion of American craftsmanship. Being the American steakhouse, we wanted to make sure that we captured that essence of America being rooted in wonderful, beautiful craftsmanship. So we have this beautiful leather that's been outfitted with nail heads that are kind of highlighting some of the key spaces. So ultimately, we really want to capture and evoke this sense of nostalgia and the curiosity and passion for travel that the region guest is known for. I know that the traveling spirit is a quality of our valued guests, and I am certain that they will appreciate this inspiring combination of comfort and elegance that you've achieved. Johanna, thank you so much for your time today. I personally cannot wait to experience this beautiful Prime 7 aboard Seven Seas Grandeur, and I know that our guests can't either. So again, thank you so much. Thank you, Jess. It's been our pleasure.